Sarah, some tragic and heartbreaking news for you this morning. Investigators believe they have found the body of missing 20-year-old University of Iowa student Molly Tibbetts. Tibbetts had been missing for the past five weeks or so, and she was last seen jogging in the evening through her hometown of Brooklyn, Iowa. Law enforcement officials are expected to hold a news conference later on this afternoon. We don't have many details now, but let's bring in former prosecutor and managing director for Kroll, Dan Shore. Dan, uh, this is so sad that the search has ended after a month with her body apparently being found. No details on where or what. Uh, what do you suspect authorities honed in on and, and how they were able to finally discover it? Sure, we're waiting for more information, but it's a tragic end. The family, the friends, they've been holding out hope for a month, and there's going to probably be a wealth of information from the body. First of all, what's the manner of death? What's the time of death? Was she killed a month ago when she disappeared, or more recently, in the location? Who had access to the location where the body's found? Was the body killed there? Was it moved? And then, of course, you have DNA, other forensic evidence, maybe objects from the killer. So police are certainly combing through all of that. And what do you make of the fact that she was jogging in the evening? Uh, that makes you more vulnerable? Or certainly. We don't know when she disappeared, but she was jogging one of the last times she was seen, if not the last time she was seen. And people are generally vulnerable when they're jogging. They're listening to music. They're not always aware of all the circumstances around them. And unfortunately, we've seen other people abducted and killed at that time. Yeah, we had one in Massachusetts and one in New York. You know, the authorities uh, during this investigation and this search have been tight-lipped. It's been hard to really get any information out of them. Sometimes they had announced news conference, they'd cancel them. Now they've scheduled one for this evening, I believe 5 p.m. Central, you know, local time, 6 p.m. Eastern. So we'll get more information on, on where they found her body, uh, hopefully. But why, why do you think that is? Well, that's a smart investigative strategy. You don't want to give all the information you have to people out there, both to the potential killer. You don't want them to know everything that you have as you're zeroing in on them. And then other people who may come forward with information are they tailoring that information based on what they've seen in the news, or do they really know that independently? So you don't want to give everything out. And I expect the same thing will happen now. I just mentioned all the types of information they'll find from the body. I'd be surprised if they give all that information out publicly. Could they, could they have a suspect right now? I mean, could they announce an arrest later on this afternoon? It's possible. We don't know publicly where the body was found, but maybe it's found in a place that it belongs to one person or a, a small group of okay. people. We'll find that out later today. And guys, I'm going to bring this in here because this is just being brought to our attention into our newsroom now. Uh, Rob Tibbetts, the father of Molly Tibbetts, is telling Fox News Channel that the body found is indeed his daughter, Molly. Uh, we were going off of sources telling Fox News up until now, and he is now confirming that it, it was indeed Molly, his daughter, uh, his 20-year-old daughter. Uh, and he said that he will have more comment for us shortly. And remember, her father had been on the ground involved with the search uh, since he got that phone call that she had gone missing that day in July. And he just recently, within, I believe, the last 24 hours or so, yeah, returned back to his home mm -hmm. in California. He has a prosecutor. And in the, in the private sector, I've dealt with a lot of missing persons cases. And when you're working with the family, time goes on. And People hold out hope, the family, the friends, hoping that their loved one will be found alive. And this is certainly a tragic end. And as the family finds out more about how she died, that's, there's nothing more painful than that. What, what type of lessons can we learn for this when you have these type of uh, cases with young women jogging? Who, who are brutally murdered. Well, it's not just young women, but people who are jogging are vulnerable. And we don't know for sure that she was abducted when she was jogging. We'll learn a lot more, and police are certainly learning a lot more by looking at the body now, finding out what happened. Did she go with someone she knew? Was she abducted with, by a stranger? There's a lot of information that police are certainly trying to piece together right now. So the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation um, has planned this afternoon news conference. We will get an update from them. Uh, it has been quite a journey for the, the community there, too, that has rallied around this family and, 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 and supported the father and the mother in the search for their daughter. And, and now she, her body has been found, the father just confirming. Dan Shore, thank you. Thank you.